Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be doing a Abercrombie and Fitch haul. I used to wear ANF like in junior high, in grade eight and nine, um, and never really thought anything about them for the past like however many years, like 10 years, but I've recently fallen back in love with Abercrombie. And I know that there was a lot of controversy around this brand. Their past CEO said some pretty bad things um, and the brand was just like kind of under attack for not being very body positive or very inclusive. I will say that I think their sizes could be diversified more and they do have some work to do in terms of that type of representation. But since they hired a new CEO recently, I've just like fallen back in love with the brand. So when I started shopping there again, the main reason that I started shopping there is because their jeans fit really well. I have a small waist and generally finding jeans that fit me actually well is really hard. So when I found jeans at Abercrombie that fit perfectly and across like all styles, I just kept going back to buy my jeans there. So I started looking into the brand because, as you guys know, I used to have a capsule wardrobe. I did a 12-piece capsule wardrobe for a few months, and I really do care about sustainability, the way that things are made, um, ethically made and ethically sourced clothing, but it's hard to find that, and it's hard to find affordable options for that. So I started looking into Abercrombie and I was pretty pleasantly surprised. While the brand is not perfect, I will admit, they are definitely stepping up their game. You can actually go on their website and find a lot of the corporate social responsibility commitments that they've made. They're becoming a lot more transparent with where their clothing is made, how it's made. There's factory uh, visits and audits available on their website. So I was really impressed by that. And I also think it's cool that their new leadership team is primarily women. So their CEO right now is a woman. Um, the majority of their executive team is women. So I think that's cool, and I think maybe that reflects in how the brand is kind of making a comeback. So, I was posting about Abercrombie on Instagram, in my stories, I was doing a try-on, and they so graciously reached out to send me some clothing. Um, I'm doing a trip to Spain with my family in June, which I'm so excited about, and that's what I was specifically shopping for, because the weather there is obviously a lot different than it is here in Canada. So I wanted to get some cute stuff to take on the trip and take lots of cute Instagram photos, obviously. And so they reached out, they gifted me um, a really generous gift card, and I got to shop at the store and online for the pieces that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. They didn't sponsor this video. This is something that I just wanted to do because I love watching try-on hauls and I thought if I have all this new clothing from Abercrombie, I may as well make a video with it just to share the love of probably my favorite brand right now. So here we go. can't tell, beige is basically going to be my color for spring and summer this year. Okay, so these two bags arrived at my door. Um, I opened them just to make sure that everything arrived and is in here and the right size, etc. I was like shocked by the discount on this coat. This coat was from the sales section on Abercrombie.com. This dress, I'm 
so excited about and I really, really, really hope it fits. This red floral dress is inspired by Kristen Johns. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. She always wears dresses like these. They look so cute on her and anytime I see a dress like this, I think of her and I just think she has the cutest aesthetic. So this is basically inspired by her, me trying to be Kristen. How much beige stuff am I gonna own? I don't know. I think I've talked about this before, but I'm a big fan of graphic tees, like tees with just sayings on them, um, or like big words or letters like this. I don't know why. I am gonna be officially a walking billboard for Abercrombie because I love them so much. This sparks joy. It's also my favorite color. Beige. Okay, so the final piece of this whole haul is something very simple and basic, but I'm probably going to wear the most out of everything from all of these clothes I just showed you. Sweatpants! <laughs> When I was transitioning from my capsule wardrobe kind of back into a regular wardrobe, I mean, the reason why I started growing my wardrobe again is because I realized that I just, I love fashion. Um, I take on a lot of brand collaborations with fashion brands and, you know, it's one thing in my life that I feel I can really express myself with and I think a lot of people feel that way about fashion. So I think it's important to be conscious about the brands that you're purchasing from um, and making as best an effort you can to buy sustainably, buy locally, buy ethically, but the reality also is that we have budgets and most people can't afford to buy the amazing Canadian designer brands that I got in my capsule wardrobe, you know, it's $100, $200 per piece and it gets really expensive. So. I think that you can do both. I think that you can be conscious about where your clothing comes from. Um, you can purchase sustainably and have kind of a minimalist approach to your fashion wardrobe. You know, it's a give and a take and nobody is perfect. The industry isn't perfect. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this haul. Let me know what your favorite pieces were. I think I know what mine are. Everything beige. Rose, what are you doing?